So let's talk about the movie Game Night. But, of course, the first question you want to ask, since this is a comedy, is... Is it funny? Yes, I thought this movie was very funny, and not just me, but a lot of the other people watching it in the cinema thought it was very funny as well. So when I saw the trailer to this movie, I laughed once, and there was a lot of jokes in that trailer, so laughing once, I wasn't very excited for it, but I went to see the movie anyway, and I'm so glad I did. But I gotta say, when the movie first started, I didn't find it to be that funny, but once it started to kick in with this certain scene, it was just constantly humorous throughout the rest of it. It was it was really good after that. So now onto the thing that really surprised me about this movie, and that's, it's actually really well directed. Even from the opening company logos, I was like, they, they do it in these like little game pieces and stuff like tumbling down, and I was like, wow, that is really cool. There's also this really great, out of nowhere, one take sequence, or at least it looks like a one take sequence. I didn't see any cuts, but it's involving this egg, that's all I'm going to say, but it was all, it all looked like it was done in one take, and that was really great to see. They also do this type of shot where the camera, the, the camera's here, the car's here, and it looks like the camera's locked on to the car's movements and stuff. It kind of reminds me of like a video game or something. Another thing that's pretty good about this movie is the unique soundtrack it has, and it stands out quite a lot as well, you can definitely notice it. So yeah, I was very happy with the technical stuff, and I hope that if there's some people out there that didn't like this movie, they just didn't find it funny or whatever reason, I hope they can still, you know, respect the time and effort it would have taken to make some of these well-made scenes at times, especially that one-take sequence, and, you know, the creativity with the transitions at times with the game pieces, it's just really clever what they did sometimes. Now let's move on to another great thing that gave a lot of the comedy to the movie, which is the cast we have here. So the two main characters are played by Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams, which have both their great comedic moments, but also just have this great chemistry as well. Next cast member is Kyle Chandler, which seems to always be competing with the main character as it's his brother. The next actor is Sharon Horgan, and she's a great character that helps contrast Billy Magnuson's character as she emphasizes the fact of how much of an idiot this guy is. The next two are Kylie Bunbury and Lamorne Morris. And these two are funny, but they do have this ongoing argument throughout a lot of their scenes, especially individual scenes with them, and it just gets kind of irritating because it's the same repetitive argument. So that was a slight problem I had with the characters, it's just them two. But other than that, they were still funny. And lastly, but absolutely not least, is Jesse Plemons' character. And just like in Breaking Bad and in one of the Black Mirror episodes, he's a creepy bastard once again. And wow, he does it so well in this. Like, the first scene with him is just so unsettling. He's holding his dog and he's trying to talk about joining them in game night. But they just don't really like him around them because, you know, he's a bit weird. So overall, I thought the casting was perfect, the, you know, the characters could have been a little bit better, but for the most part, the casting wasn't the issue. And the one last thing I'll say about this movie that, comedically, for the most part, it works very well, is they have good movie references in this movie as well. They actually have a good part in it that references Pulp Fiction, and I very much like that bit. So overall, a surprisingly well-directed movie that was funny. And I'm going to give it a well-deserved 7 out of 10. So that is my review of Game Night. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider hitting the subscribe button. And I hope to catch you in the next one.